Hi, this is Chef Milan Sovani. I run a beautiful restaurant called The Song of India here in Singapore and been a chef for 27 years now. So I think most of us are here. Come, let's go. These are coriander seeds, like the coriander, green coriander we all know. We here call it the Chinese parsley. So this is the coriander seeds, the most important part of Indian cuisine. Most of the curry powders and most of the garam masala powders that we have, coriander would be a base for it. Generally, we in Asia always prefer chicken which is small size, 500 gram, 600 gram, maximum per kilo. But the US chicken generally is very big in size, and one leg you can see it's almost such a one big itself. So the chicken is quite big. But then though being a big size, the chicken is still quite tender and juicy. Yeah. So this actually also is a US chicken, but it's a whole chicken. So as you can see, it is a little smaller than what we saw earlier. So the best thing I found about US chicken and uh, how, how confident they are about their product, I'll give you a small example, that they took all six, 16 chefs from Singapore, Asian cuisine, Chinese, Indian, Western, every one of us, and they took us around to various poultries uh, in US. They actually showed us the process, how they undergo, what the chicken are fed with, how hygienically they are uh, manufactured, packed, everything. As I told you in the market, sometimes the US chicken is not uh, easily accepted by people when they see it here in Singapore is because it is big in size and we all we all Asians even Indians want our chicken to be 500 gram 600 gram a spring chicken we feel that if it is small it will be more juicy but I think you will see from today's recipes that even a US chicken which is those big in size can be soft and succulent also everyone thinks there's a lot of butter but you can see there is no butter on the ingredients list. It is not exactly butter butter, but butter chicken means a, a chicken curry preparation which is very buttery or which is very nice and smooth and that's how I think the word butter chicken uh, came around. But the recipe I am showing you is something which is quick, still tastes the same butter chicken like it would taste and but done quickly with ingredients which are easily available. So as you can see there is no butter in this, this is the US chicken, the, normally the 1.5 kilo size we have cut into small pieces. For the marination, we have red chilli powder, the yogurt, the garam masala powder. So it's cinnamon, cardamom, cloves, coriander, whole lot of spices. You can buy this ready-made in the market as garam masala powder. Salt, obviously. We're going to add red chilli powder. If you use Kashmiri red chilli powder, it will become more nice and red. Then for the curry, as I said, I am going to show you a shortcut method where you don't have to boil tomatoes for hours together. So we are going to use tomato paste, so tomato puree or tomato pulp. Yeah, This cashew nut paste, I don't think you can buy ready-made in the market. But it's very simple, just have cashew nuts, maybe drop them in boiling water for some time. Or just put them in lukewarm water for 10-15 minutes and then put it in your home blender and make a fine paste dried ginger powder. Then we are adding kasuri methi and ginger garlic paste as always. Let's marinate the chicken. We'll add in the red chilli powder, ginger garlic paste, garam masala powder, salt. See actually you can leave out the colour. But it is somehow there is chicken tikka, there is a perception, our, our mind will not accept it as a chicken tikka if it is not red. It's, it's more of that. Otherwise the, this kebab is not uh, red. But if I say this is turkey kebab, people will accept. But if I serve a chicken tikka like this, they will say, chef, does, chef doesn't know the recipe. <laughs> He'll just fold in the chicken in the marinade. You can do this uh, as a chicken tikka for your barbecue parties or whatever. It's an ideal thing. 
so this also maybe 2 to 3 hours is enough because uh, chicken comparatively is more tender than a turkey would be but uh, if you leave it overnight no harm you get better results yeah. we'll put this in the oven again train it on but after it comes out from the oven it is going to look like this the chicken tikka we're going to put in the tomato puree preferably use a non stick pan we're going to take some time on this because this will need to boil okay one thing i think i didn't tell you was honey we're going to add honey into it normally in a butter chicken uh, the sweetness is going to be a sugar but uh, we add honey honey gives a better flavor and taste okay we'll add in the cashew paste the cashew because we have boiled we don't need to really cook it here for long kasuri methi जिंजर पाउडर जिंजर गार्लिक पेस्ट क्रीम नाउ एक्चुअली वी हैव नॉट एडेड बटर बट वी हैव मेड इट लिटिल अनहेल्दी बाय एडिंग क्रीम ओके यू कैन ड्रॉप इन द चिकन टिक्का इन दिस Add in the honey. Yes. We'll just add some chopped coriander at the end. You can leave the consistency up to you. I will say, whether you want to make it thick or you want to make it thin. Generally, in the restaurant, we'll have around this consistency. You know, the gravy has got a slight tanginess to it, which is really delicious. I only wish I had some naan or some basmati rice now. Yeah. Very very tender. I'm I'm surprised yeah, it's really very tender. I am definitely going to try this out because we were just talking about it. We were looking for a recipe yeah. for good butter chicken and we've been searching around yeah. couldn't really find it. Yeah. And this is good. You can you can taste the the spices that were used. And the gravy is just so lovely. Excellent. I I don't really cook uh, Indian cuisine, so this is something quite interesting for me. And I didn't know that uh, Indian food, I mean the cooking of Indian food, can be quite easy because it always sounds so complicated. There was one um, butter chicken that we learned today, and that's right, it's an extension of a chicken tikka, really, by adding, uh, by boiling down a tomato paste and adding. A cashew nut paste and other spices. I always thought that this butter chicken is very difficult to make, but I think, I think uh, I'm quite ready to attempt it at home.